Fuck my car. I mean, this is like the first music store we went to, right? Yeah. Regular instrument? Or is, no. it, is it powered? Or yeah, they're powered. So do you need a regular instrument? Yeah. If they're powered. How long have you been making music? I've been making music since I was like 12 or 13 years old. And uh, it just took off from there. I was in bands and did a little some, like touring a little bit. I played lots of shows and doing mostly rock. And then uh, like maybe last year I got into EDM and you know it just took off. And I, I just fell in love with it and like everything about it. And then I started producing that for a while and you know then I heard Moon Tone and everything just got you know better. Yo, wrap this vest right here. Just the vest? No, my arms are getting cold, yo. Fresh. I know. Yeah, just get this flash out. No, my dad does like all the films for uh, Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah? Triple H. Nah, this shit. David Rice. That's right, all that shit is out here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's wrap that one. This is like all the redone. I'm um, some shops on the avenue. As an artist in both rock bands, EDM, everything that you've been doing, what are some of the names that inspire you? I mean, there's so there's so many. I mean, the first person I can think of would probably be Wolfgang Gardner because he's one of the first person people I heard. Probably him and Dead Mouse were the first two people I started listening to. So definitely them. But as far as Mouton, Sazon. You know, et cetera, et cetera. Those are people that I found, like Diplo with his mix, with that, that, that mix that everyone heard. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, it's hard to pick out a select few. Like, I listen to so much music, you know, with all the artists around now. We should cut some of these uh, lifters right here, like just that section of the lifter. Okay. No? Yeah, definitely. Just because then we can just use them, you know, anywhere. But just the uh, snare and there's a sub building in there we can't hear. Should, yeah. I, should I throw that in there? Yeah, why not? A little guy. And like cut exactly. this whole, and just do like this. And I hope in the next year, I want to just, I just want to be playing out, you know, I want to get, I want to bring the music and move its own to the next level, you know, I want to help, I want to be in the scene, I get the movement going with everyone, you know. I hope we playing, you know, bigger stages and get everyone on big stages so we can get into the festival. That's, that's the ultimate goal, I think, right, you know. Tell us about your uh, upcoming project you're working on. The Mimo EP, my first uh, official release. Be big. It's uh, a lot of core on there, but it's it, it was a lot of fun uh, when I got in contact with Rock Ten. I knew it was coming. I got amped up, put the work, excited for it to come out, excited to be in the fan, and uh, it's gonna be good. People are gonna like it. Got one in the works, um, coming up in 
December. Talk about Rockies United. Works at all. Tell the fans how they can get in contact with you, where you can reach you. Fans, get at me. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud. You can me SoundCloud DJ hyphen D face. Y'all know Colin D. Colin D. That's how I brand it. But, uh, yeah, man. Check me out. Alright. Two keys of Charlie. Two keys of two, two. Key, two keys of cocaine. Two keys of ecstasy. Two keys of Charlie. Two keys of two, two. Key, two keys of cocaine. Two keys of ecstasy. Two keys of Charlie. Two keys of two, two. Key, two keys of cocaine. Two keys of ecstasy. Two keys of Charlie. Two keys of your finest Colombian, sir. <laughs> 